This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Welcome back to another video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to add some Elementor Pro motion effects to this website. Let's get started. In the previous video, I gave you a brief about Elementor Pro motion effects. If you haven't checked that video out, I will link that in the description. So basically, we saw what are the parts of Elementor Pro motion effects and how to use them. But it was a bit brief. So in this video, we're actually going to use Elementor Pro motion effects to enhance the look of this website. So let's head over to Elementor and let's get started. So as you can see, we have a very simple page. Let's start animating our website. First of all, I'm going to add an animation to this text. We're going to add a default that is free animation. And starting with this image, I'm also going to add this free animation. And I'm also going to add animations to these sections. Now let's animate this image, which is our product. So let's go to motion effects. I've already added a transform property which scales it up to two times. So all we have to do is add scrolling effects. Click here to enable scrolling effects. And the first of all, we're going to add a rotate animation so that this image sticks out and rotates showing the features of the product. For that, we will have to add a sticky to the top. So it's moving with the section. Now let's add a rotate animation. It will be to left and the speed will be around 7 or let's say 7.2. One more thing that you have to change is we will apply these effects with respect to entire page. So as you can see, it is rotating. Which is good. That's exactly what we need. You can also change the speed of the animation or when the animation will start or end from the viewport. So as you can see, whenever leather design comes up, our watch is rotating and whenever metal dial section comes up, it is showing the metal dial, which looks maybe creative. So let's add another effect. Like I told you in the previous video that we can add more than one scrolling effect to our website. So I'm going to add a scale animation so that whenever this section comes up, 
the image scales down a bit. So let's click here. And we're going to choose scale down. And let's say we add, we change the speed to 2. And since we want the scale down property to only work when the image is at the bottom of the section, we will change the viewport settings. So this will be at the bottom and maybe I want to start the animation when the image is at 88% of the web page. So as you can see, the image has scaled down a bit. Let's click on update and view our website. As you can see, our image is rotating. And it has scaled down to fit this section. Now in this way, you can add lots of several animations from these options. You can also create so many amazing new effects on your own. Now that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like if you find this video useful and subscribe. Thank you.